this is the problem where it says if if G is a graph, there's going to be a click in G where uh, or an anti-click in G where at least either the the anti-click or the click is going to have at least one half log two n nodes. That's the Sipser question. So let's see if we can't figure this out. First thing we got to know is um, about the concept of doubling and squaring and uh, logging and halving. So basically if you have a some some number, if you keep on doubling it and doubling it, it's going to be two to that number. It's two to that power. And um, and if you take the same type of a situation, if you have a if you have a list of a whole bunch of numbers, if you keep dividing them in half each time, you, by the time you get to the end, it'll be uh, log of whatever that f first number was. So you, that's a common thing in computer science, but you have to know that before we get started. The next thing we have to know is about undirected simple graphs. We're assuming in this particular question that we have an undirected graph, no arrows, that it's simple. There's no self loops, no double loops in there. And then we also have to understand the concept of a click. A click is simply a complete graph that's a subset within the graph. So if we have the graph G, a click would be any complete subset. That includes just a single node or, or two nodes connected. That would be a click. We also have to understand the anti-click. The anti-click is a independent set, which means none of the two nodes are connected to each other. So like for example, even though these nodes are connected to other nodes, this particular group here is an independent set. So once we understand the concept of of the you know logging, the taking the log base to getting you know is half of a, a result, and then we we take the undirected graph, simple graph, and we know the click and the anti-click. The next thing we have to understand is the Ramsey number, and let's take a look at this. The Ramsey number is simply the smallest possible integer, where there must exist either a click, or an anti-click of a certain size. So if we if we say that this here is R of A C where A is an anti-click and C is a click, then that means this Ramsey number means there has to be at least um, an anti-click of size 10 or a click of size 1. It has to be the minimum possible number that that one of the two of them has to exist. And it's kind of um, intuitively obvious that if the if one of these is one, then the size, the minimum number to have one of the other of these is just one, because a click or an anti-click is just one node. Now, <clears throat> let's take a look at another example. Let's take a look at this one here. This is Ramsey number with five and two. So here we have uh, an anti-click of two. And we have, um, there's, there's no way to create this, this uh, situation where you can, where you can have, where you ha can't have at least one of those. So the, the lowest number for five and two is to have five. Because you can have either an anti-click of five, or you could have, you know, anytime you add another node, you're going to have two, at add, add another edge. Now, of course, you could have four and have an anti-click of four, but it's possible to have a click, um, but you cannot have a click of two. Of two. Has to be, you have to have a click of at least two, one or the other. So that one's not gonna fly. Because this scenario is possible, then this R52 has to be greater than four. And same token for this one here. If we have, here we have the anti-click size is 3, but the click size is 2, but that doesn't satisfy the 5-2. It has to be one or the other. So basically, the, the thing to remember is that the, the Ramsey number is the minimum number. Uh, it, it, uh, the size of a graph is guaranteed to have one or the other. 
conditions present. It's guaranteed. So, you know, this one does not have five or two, so it can't be this one here. So it can't possibly be that. It's not guaranteed. Okay, so I think if we understand all that, now the problem is we have to prove that all the graphs G, where, where the size of the, the number of vertices is N, contain either a click or an anti click with at least one half log N vertices. And that means basically this, well, it means exactly this, that the Ramsey number of, of one half log N, log 2N, and one half log 2N is less than or equal to N, the size of the number of nodes in the graph. So let's take a look at this. Now, the the solution is basically um, every vertex, every vertex has to be part of a click. You can't have a vertex that's not part of some kind of a click, because even a vertex of one is in some kind of a click or anti-click. So if we start with any arbitrary vertex, it's either case one, it's going to be connected to over half of the remaining nodes, excluding itself, or case two, it's going to be not connected to over half. Now in case one, you add that uh, node to the list, which would be the list of, uh, of some click larger than one half log 2n, you throw away all the nodes to which it is not connected. In case two, you you add this this uh, node to list two, and you discard all the nodes to which it is connected. So this is trying to build an anti-click. So case one is trying to build a click. Case two is trying to build an anti-click. So the important point again goes back to the first thing we said. At each step, this process eliminates at most one half of the remaining vertices. So the minimum number of steps possible is log 2n. Now, of course, at each step, the process is adding one node to either list 1 or list 2. So the list, so one of the lists has to contain at least one half log 2n entries. So let's take a look at an example. Here I've got one where we have um, a five node graph, five vertex, one half Five. So basically log 2n is 1.16, but you have to round up to the nearest integer, so that's going to be 2. So let's take a look at this. If we, if we go to vertex 1 and we delete that, we, we pick that one, and we look at the rest of the remaining nodes, how many are there? There's 4 left. So 1 half of 4 is 2. The degree of 1 is 2. So we add it to list 2, the anti-click, not the click. And then we discard nodes 2 and 5 because they are connected to 1. And the degree of 1 is 2, but it's not greater than 2. It has to be greater than 2. So then we've, we've eliminated these two, and we've eliminated this one. Now we only have these two left, 3 and 4. So we look at vertex 3. The degree of this one is just 1. We don't count the ones that, of the ones that have been discarded, so it's just 1. 1 is greater than 1 half, though. So, could because there's two nodes left, actually there's only one node left beside itself, so 1 half of 1 is 1 half, so B goes to, sorry, node 3 goes to list 1, the list, the click list. So, then we discard 3, and now we're looking at just 4. The degree of 4 is 0, because there's no more nodes left. We're just down to this. And 1 half of 0 is 0, but it's not, 0 is not greater than 0, so, <clears throat> so we put it into list A, the anti-click list. And what we have is a click that has, that's just one node, but it, one node is a click, and then we have an anti-click of 1 and 4. This is an anti-click. Now, it, you may not get the biggest click or the biggest anti-click, but what you will do is you'll get uh, some click or anti-click that's greater than one half log n. 
And then as you can see, the anti-click we have is 2, which is greater than or equal to 1 half log n. So I hope that clarifies as to why uh, question 13 has to be what it is.